Sup guys and welcome back to another video with Ginger Man Cards or Nick. Uh, thank you for the love on the podcast uh, episodes. Really appreciate that. So thank you very much. And uh, today I'm going to be doing an update on the Marvel graded card market. And obviously you'll see some raw cards in there as well. Uh, so yeah, just looking at what's recently been sold. Uh, it's Saturday evening here in the UK, so a good time to do it. And um, yeah, let's have a have a have a look and I'll also go through my thoughts on grading. Uh, I'm still in the, I still don't know what to do. <laughs> if I'm completely honest, I don't know whether, anyway, I'll go into detail in, in a minute. But let's have a look at some cards. So this is a 1996 um, Marvel, I believe it's a sticker, could be wrong. No, it is a card. But I want to do some research into those. They look really, really cool. So um, interesting, just saw that recently. So. Really interesting thing to to look at anyway. Um, as you can see, lots of graded, uh, lots of raw 1990 um, Marvel Universe cards selling. Lots of people selling them in uh, in bulk and sets. Complete set there of ooh, nice hollows in it as well. But yeah, these these raw 1990s cards are still selling well. Never seen that in my life, but that's. Pretty cool, 1980 card. It's an old card, really nice. Uh, yeah, so lots of raw cards. Uh, got a nice sale here, PSA 10. Uh, still a low pop on that amazing Spider-Man. Um, it's, it's, it's look, kind of looks like the comic, but it's a card. Um, it's a really cool, really cool card. So that's a nice price, five hundred dollars. These are still selling well. The uh, 76 superhero stickers. I was like, who's that? <laughs> Kristen Ritter, Jessica Jones. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, anyway, that's not relevant to this YouTube video. So let's carry on. <laughs> um, nice set of 1991 Marvel Universe. Not been selling, not been seeing many of these selling recently. So I'll have a look. I'm going to write that down in case I forget it. I'm going to have a look at if anything's been sold recently or I've just missed it completely. But. I really like those cards, so I'm hoping, uh, and to be completely transparent, I have some at PSA currently, so um, so let's go down, so this was an interesting one, Deathlock, um, Pop 12, 1990 Marvel Universe cards, so that's nice, uh, Pop of a couple of SDC slabs coming up, which um, I must admit, I'm looking at SDC, I didn't want to go into grading straight away, and thinking, hmm... Is it worth it? On most occasions, no, is the answer. Like that's seventy dollars that sold for. To get a card graded, it costs seventy five dollars. So um, straight away, <laughs> straight away, it's not worth it. Obviously, these guys um, got in well before that point, so good to them. Um, nice SGC slab there, Thanos, Night Night Four, Marvel masterpieces. Marvel Beginnings and stuff. People buying these early, 12, 2012 ones. They're all numbered, which is cool. Die cut as well. Interesting to see. Nice SGC stab. That looks really, see, like that it looks really nice on the black slab. That really pops out, doesn't it? Things like, things like that, I'm kind of thinking, hmm, but I'm still not convinced. Uh, lots of these, Stan Lee, the price of that has gone down quite a chunk to be fair from where it was, it's corrected quite a lot. Uh, so that's a PSA 9 that's sold for $290, still a really good price but um, just interesting to see that. This is nice, um, bits and bobs coming through, this is a P PWCC auction um, card so obviously fetches a slightly higher price due to the eyeballs. But I'm assuming that's a very low pop. Nice card with Spider-Man Dark Hawk. Uh, some nice slabs of the 1990 Marvel Universe. Still selling for good prices. You've got Hulk, Mr. Fantastic. Nice prices there. Um, that's a cool card. Um, this was the interesting bit. So 1992 Marvel Masterpieces. Uh, so I sent off uh, quite a few of these to PSA as well. Um, these are all nines, but they sold for really good prices, $200 each. 
Um, again, I don't know the pop reports of these, but I'm assuming they're very low. You know, all these things work in a kind of a filter system. So the 1990 set selling as a highest, um, you know, selling really well. The pops going up slightly, which I'll go into in another video. Uh, and then obviously it trickles down into the, the slightly later sets, and this is one of them. But the artwork on these, um, I want to say, is by Joe Jusco. Let me just double check so I'm not talking crap. So I've got these cards. Yes, yeah, Jusco, you can see there. So I love them. I think they are one of them. I, I think they're better looking than the 99 set, personally. Um, but that's just me, so my Star Wars cards. There you go, that's good to see. Uh, Mysterio, only three in pop, yeah, great. 1991 Marvel Universe, so that's good. That's a PSA 10. Good, good, good. Some nice metal cards. Metal's still selling really well. Lots of raw. Well, we've got a nice thing here, 1992 Marvel Masterpieces again. That's a 10. That's nice. Uh, this Deadpool, 1993 Marvel Universe, population one of six. That's a really good price. That's a nice card. Interesting. Bloody set I don't have as well. <laughs> um, another STC card popping up, and another one there. So, like this, this makes me think, okay. If my eye is good enough, I could send something like that because these are easy, easy, easy enough to find in decent condition. This set, I think, uh, or at least the, the the one I have, a, a pretty good nick. So you could send that off for seventy five dollars and get it back pretty sharpish, um, and get a decent return. But it's a risk. You have to really know what you're doing. Uh, with grading, let's see if I look at this one again. It is a really low pop, so that's why it's gone for a good price. But what I found on these cards, yeah, so the same things happen on these cards. On on my ones, I have lots of white stripping, like white. It's, it looks like it's frayed on the, on the side of the cards, but it's not. It's just just the way they are. Um, it looks this one's exactly the same, and that's got a nine. That's crazy, isn't it? Same thing on the back, you can see there as well. I'm surprised that's got a nine, I'll be honest. The corners look great, it looks quite quite well centered, but yeah, it's in decent condition, but the, yeah, so interesting. Cool set to look at that though. Um, these hollows are nice, STC6, ugh. I'd be pissed off if that was me. Um, nice Slanos card. That, that again looks great. Pops like the colours pop because it's on a black slab. Um, this is one I saw. Uh, another Night Night Two Marvel Masterpieces card. That looks cool. There's lots of raw cards going. Aren't there? People are going, oh yeah, I'm going to get it graded. <laughs> um, so yeah, really interesting. So that's a cool card there. DC Comics, oh, I don't know what to say about that, <laughs> um, I'm a Marvel guy, but I can see them, it's... Jesus Christ, what was that, I think someone's just set off a firework, which is really random, um, but yeah, grading, so I don't know what to do at the moment, I've got a chunk of cars I want to send off. I should have sent them off a couple of months ago, but I didn't. I waited stupidly. And um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to wait for PSA to open it back up. The prices are going to be increased. I don't know what that will look like uh, in terms of my, because um, I submit to a group server in the UK. Um, so I, do I wait for that? It's going to be obviously a long turnaround time if I'm putting in for bulk subs. Don't really want to spend a huge amount on, uh, you know, Super Express and Express and things like that. So um, I don't want to send with SGC. I think it's too much, and I don't think it's worth it in terms of value. To be honest, what I'm really, really waiting for is CGC.
to start grading Marvel cards. And I've had a look at the chat boards if you and all all the proper proper uh Marvel collectors are all saying the same thing. When when are they gonna do it? When are they gonna do it? I actually spoke to um SGC kind of uh, Instagram guy, I can't remember his name, but he said uh, at some point in the future they would look at doing it. But if they could do it, it, it would just be so cool. Like, can you imagine having a CGC card that will match a comic? Like, I've, I've said this in previous videos, but it'd be just, just so cool. So they accept comics, they accept training cards such as uh, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, and... Um, magazines but why don't they accept Marvel cards <laughs> so frustrating and they have a really good price as well um, so I am watching I am watching CGC like a hawk like any news any rumors I am on it um, and as soon as I hear hear anything uh, of them potentially doing something with uh, Marvel cards I will let you guys know straight away um, yeah I, to be transparent I want to send some cards uh, with CGC if they um, if they started doing these so yeah that's where my head's at I don't want to go to BGS although I do like the look of the slabs and I do think they you know it is, PC, it is PSA or BGS if you're getting stuff graded um, and yeah that's, that's where I'm at really a little bit stuck in the middle as to what to do um, but yeah for now the market looks good still. Uh, lots of cards selling well. I really like this. And um, all good in the hood. Thank you for watching again. Please like and subscribe for more videos to come.